This is the plaintiff, Claudette Robinson. She says she's known the defendant for many years and hired him to do some landscaping work in her yard, and he was supposed to resod her lawn with fresh grass. Well, the guy installed brown sod that looked like it was half dead. The defendant kept assuring her this was normal and that once it was in place, the soil would spring it to life. She woke up as instructed at 6 a.m. for two weeks to water it. No grass had grown, and she was royally ripped off. She also has a huge water bill now and is suing for the $3,200 she's owed for the shoddy job and punitive and emotional damages because her community board's now very angry with the condition of her yard. This is the defendant, Thomas. He says the impatient plaintiff didn't give the sod time to adjust to the new soil. She didn't take the time to water it as instructed, and then she refused to allow him on her property to address her concerns. He's not about to return this woman's money, let alone give her money for emotional pain. She must be nuts or something because he doesn't work for free, for her or anyone else, and he owes nothing. He's accused of not being green enough. All parties, please use your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the dock of the plaintiff hired the defendant to landscape her property and says the guy installed dead sod and now her whole neighborhood is after her. But the defendant says she was just too impatient. It's the case of you're a real <laughs> SOD. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Claudette Robinson. Yes, You are suing Thomas and his lawn care company yes, for $3,200. 600 of it that you paid him for landscaping and the rest in punitive and emotional damages to you because it didn't work out. Yeah. Uh, to be the lawn that you wanted. All right, talk to me and tell me what happened. Well, Judge, on, um, um, good morning, first of all. April the 5th, 2018, the defendant and I, we entered into a verbal... How did uh, you know each other? We live in the same community, and, and um, ironically, we're on the same um, committee, uh, violation committee Okay. in our community. Okay. Um, he and I, we um, entered into a verbal agreement for him to lay some sod into my into a particular area of my yard. All right, and um, then how? What was the agreement was that you would pay him what? Um, six hundred dollars. All right, and did that include pressure cleaning? Pressure washing the driveway as, as well. Okay. Did, was any of all this was verbal? There was nothing in writing, That's correct? Correct. Yes. All right. So, um, what day does he do the job? He did the job on April April the twelfth. Okay. He and had, what happened? He had a, a a pellet of sod delivered to my house. Which was, um, which was installed by he, he and his daughter. Um, the sod looked to me to be, um, when, as he was putting it down, I noticed that it was, it was um, inferior. How was it inferior? It was brown. Did you take pictures? I, yes, ma'am. Of the sod on that day before he put it in? No, ma'am. Okay, so did you tell him, hey, that? I did complain. And he gave me a guarantee. It's gonna grow. It's gonna grow. Okay. And I, and in the interim, I, you know, I would call him. He, he told me to water it twice a day, and um, it would, it would come. It was gonna grow. And and in the interim, I kept calling. We talked back and forth, and it, it just wasn't, it wasn't doing anything for me. And um, we live in a community where we get um, um, cited for, if the grass is not. Have you been cited? No, ma'am. I, I'm on the committee, so I'm trying not to get cited. <laughs> no, but who does the citing? We have a management team, a management person. Okay, did person. the management cite you? No, ma'am. Okay. So now, do you have pictures to show me? Yes, ma'am. May I see them? And while you're looking at that, you tell me your side of things. Did <clears> you agree to sod her lawn for and pressure clean her driveway for 600 No, ma'am. I, I agreed to... The original agreement was for two pallets of sod. And I said, listen, um, and we agreed to it. And I said, now, just allow me to maintain your lawn, do your hedges for you, because I didn't want anyone on the lawn. I mean, her and I agreed to that. The only thing that she would do was would put water on the lawn. And um, she said, well, no, I have someone to cut in my lawn, um, so I really don't want to offend them, so I'd rather not you do that. And she said, and anyway, after we get through doing the lawn, um, they're probably going to cite me for the um, the driveway. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, as a courtesy, I'll pressure wash the driveway for you for free. And she says, no problem. So once we got the area prepped, she called me back and she said, hey, all I want to do is do one pallet aside. And I said, well, one pallet is not going to do it. And so she went and she marked off the area to show me where she wanted the one pallet to go. And I met with her on her property 
And I told her, I said, one pallet is not going to do that. And she was like, well, it's a woman's intuition and it's just not one pallet. I don't want to pay her $600. Originally, when we were discussing the two pallets, she asked me would I do the two pallets for $600. And I said, there's no way for me to do that. So you, so when one pallet, that one pallet of grass should grow, right? Yes. Even if it doesn't cover her whole lawn. Right. According to you, it didn't. Show me the pictures that you have. I'm going to need you to come over here because yeah. I don't know how to use your phone, so I don't know how to go to the next picture. Turn this corner for me, please. Okay, when was this picture taken? That was taken, I, I recall taking this because uh, the, uh, this was taken during prom time in Jacksonville, so between the 12th and... Um, and those the, are prom kids back there? Yes, ma'am. Well, they need to dress up better for prom. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that's prom, but anyway, but what is, else have we got going on? And, um, okay. Oh, so you're having the same problem I am. Okay, I'm judged. These are pictures here. No, no, I need you to click on the picture and okay. let me see the picture. I can't see okay. it. All right, when was that picture taken? That was taken when Lena's husband decided. I asked, Who's Lena? This is my friend. When her husband decided. This is his yard man coming because Thomas, he went further than I asked him to go to um, put my sod. I didn't ask him to go way back there. I know what difference does that make? Because the pellet only takes about 500 square feet. I knew that I didn't have no two pellets of sod because... He did yes, I know, but what, okay, so are you, are you not, do you want your money back because he put the sod in the wrong place, or do you want no, your money back because it didn't grow? It didn't grow, and I, and, and, um, I watered it for over two weeks. Okay, now show me the next picture you want me to see. Yes, ma'am. And where are you getting those pictures from? Are those texts you're sending him? Um... What is, what is that? Let me see what that is. This up here are the texts that I sent him, but these are pictures, pictures that I would be easily, easy to find them for you. Is this the earliest one that you have? Yes, ma'am. That's the first okay. one. That's the first one. After I had called and complained several times to him. I'll respect your privacy and not come on your property. So the only texts you have are after everything hit the fan. Yes, ma'am. And he said he welcomed and me to take And then he said, court. if you don't want me to come on your property and monitor the grass, I gave you a guarantee on it. You have 48 hours to send me a text inviting me to monitor your lawn. If you do not text me within 48 hours, then you're on your own when it comes to your lawn. I withdraw everything that you and I agreed upon. Please reconsider how you feel because I've done nothing wrong and a threat of taking me to court. I welcome that because I've done nothing wrong. Okay, <clears throat> so um, can you show me those pictures again? They're here, I got them. All right, so these are pictures that you took in preparation for court the other day. You just yes, I mean, because that's when I was preparing this file. And that's perfectly fine. I oh, want I to know when the pictures were taken. They weren't taken in April. They no, weren't taken. I have those over here. Okay. This is a trial. I'd like to see them. Why are they over there? I'm, the judge is over here. You Go get them. them yes. Here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Thomas, um, uh, do you have pictures of the lawn? Well, <clears throat> I wasn't trying to stockpile evidence. And what um, the first, that was, you know, those first um, original text messages was actually when I first um, received Mrs. Um, Robinson's phone number. Your Honor, when, she, when, I, when, when the sod was delivered, because it was... When a, was the sod delivered? The, the sod was delivered on the 5th. On the 12th. The 12th, okay, with well, the 12th, I'm sorry. The sod was delivered, and because the original agreement was for the two pallets of sod, I, I don't care about one pallet or two. Okay, let it doesn't matter to yes, me. I just want the grass that was there, okay. the pallets that were delivered, the pallets that were planted yes, to grow. That's okay. what I want. Our so what's this a picture of? That's a picture of after Wayne Jordan started working in the yard. He took over because... So now it's green? Yes, ma'am. May I say this, Judge Miliano? So the grass grew eventually no, when Wayne not... took over. What, would, what did Wayne do differently? We took we, we, Wayne, we had to dig up that grass. That grass, that grass was not, it was laid on top of unprepped, it, the roots were still there. He laid... I'm sorry, there. are you suggesting that Wayne brought in new sod? Yes, ma'am, I have it. I have a picture of, of, of sod, yes, ma'am, from Home Depot. What do you think would be the reason for there to have been a growth problem with the grass? So does the plaintiff have a duty to let the landscaper back on the property to repair the problem? What do you say? I believe so. Give the, um, the contractor a chance to come back and do whatever else is that. If he screwed up once, do you have to give him a chance to come back and fix it? Absolutely not. Screw it up once, we'll screw up twice. Okay. Uh, tiebreaker. Yes, they need to give them a chance to come back and fix it. Okay, going inside the courtroom. Sometimes grass and anything that you plant, there is a shock situation where when you put, uh, well, then you, it. you know, listen, either don't do the job or do it right. Well, I, mean, I take 100% responsibility for 
her side in her yard. I, as I told her, I but get, your feeling is what that she refused to let you back on there, so right. you don't she, have to pay her. Well, no. When she told me not to come on the property, she violated the agreement. Your Honor, she sat in a chair and watched me plant that sod. And paid you afterwards. And she paid me out. There was no question about that sod. The only question that happened is when the sod didn't start taking it, so let's see what your lawn is going to do. Whatever does not grow, I'll replace that there at my cost. I, I stand behind my work 100%. All right, so at the end, what we've got is this. We've got you pressure cleaning her, her, her driveway for free. We've got you uh, replacing only one pallet at her insistence. Yes, ma'am. And telling you just do part of the yard. But based on what I'm listening to, you, uh, you know, I'm sorry if Judge, you feel that, on, no, we're done, that um, I should punish him and grant you $2,600 in emotional damages over lawn. That isn't going to happen on this planet. And based on what I've heard, when you're unhappy with someone's job, your remedy is to give them a chance to remedy it, uh, particularly when that's what he's saying to you. And instead, what you did was say, get off my lawn. He, if, if he gives you a guarantee that if this doesn't grow, I'm going to replace it at my cost, don't worry about it, why wouldn't you just take him up on it? What is it you have to trust him about with lawn? I mean, I understand, you know, if you have, you, you say, I can't, I don't trust you anymore to a doctor, to some, I mean, no offense, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, why? Why can't he just get a chance to fix it? There's no, I don't trust you anymore. That's crazy. I don't understand why the animosity that led to that. There's just, okay, fix it. This didn't grow. I've been watering it all the time. Just fix it. Why wasn't it there instead of becoming a $3,200 lawsuit? My verdict in this case is for the defendant. Thank you. Well, the plaintiff fails to prove her case. She does not win anything. Sorry about that. What are you thinking? Well, I brought him to the court, the people's court, but um, some things like the, there was no digging up. He did, he did not dig the roots of that sod up before he laid it. Let me ask you, why didn't you let him back on your yard? Because the contract was to do the driveway and that, and he kept, he never finished he the driveway. He did the driveway for free. No, no he, he, that's a lie. He did not do it for free. He just threw that in. He said he, he, did was, it for free. he said he was going to do it, but he never did the driveway. He and said I paid he did. him for it. That's what he said, but I got pictures that the driveway was not done. You didn't bring that up at all. Well, anyway, I'm sorry. You didn't prove your case. I was just wondering why you didn't let him come in and take care of the lawn for Because he, had he my said money. he guaranteed it. He had my money and did not do my driveway. Well, so. sorry about that. Okay. I Thank think you. you learned a hard lesson there. You should have let him, let him take care of it. Thomas, yes, she should have let you back on, right? Yes, sir. It would all been worked out. No problem. 100% guarantee. That is true. Yes, okay. sir. I feel bad for her, you know. Okay. I just wish she would have allowed us to do the job that we were paid to do. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Okay, Harvey. I mean, look, here's the thing. Uh, majority rules here, and the fact is that if, unless this landscaper is totally incompetent, you have to give him one chance to go back and fix it. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.